Hi, it's Therese from Austin Paper and I'm here for Scrapbook Boutique and I'm going to be having some fun using some great MFT products. This is the Happy Hedgehog set and it is so cute. And I've gone for another wonky stitch dynamics set and this is the ovals. I like um, the rectangles that I've got. I just use them all the time and I do really like oval sort of elements on a card. So I thought this would be perfect for my stash. Now one of my shaker, you know, the border, the frame to be nice and wide. So I haven't actually chosen two of the ovals that are right beside. I've left like a gap of one in between. And that way I get this nice wide um, border on my outside of my oval shaker. And I've just run that through my die cutting machine. And now I am going to stamp and color one of the little hedgehogs. And I thought that she'd be really cute with hot pink fur. I don't know I just looked at her and thought that'd be so cool and you know sometimes you just got to do these things and get them out of your system because otherwise I would have um, colored it brown and be very disappointed <laughs> I um, did use some Copic colors that the RV family I find a lot of the pinks in the Copic colors tend to be, be a little bit um, almost violet in tones so I am um, just have to go with it. I have got a couple of different pink ranges, but this is probably my my favourite ones to use, the RVs. It's a nice and hot pink. I did bring the RV04 in to do some shading and probably should have um, stopped <laughs> right there. But I did go in with the W family. This is one of the warm neutrals. So it's a really nice color to use on animals in particular. I actually use this color a lot. And I'm really glad that I've gone for this sort of series. I use my T's as well, the tones. And this is where I kind of went a bit too far, I think. I did bring the BV um, in. I think it was a BV 20 in to try and add a bit more shading to the pink and it just I just don't think it worked very well but that's okay I kind of wasn't going to start again came in with my colorless splendor took away some color and I think I actually did do a little tiny bit more shading with the pink pencils when they had them out later on So I always start my shaker window by adding the acetate behind the front panel first because I've actually made shaker cards and forgot to <laughs> add this and had to pull them apart and do it all later. So I've gotten the habit of doing that now. I used my stamp runner to add the adhesive. It's a great adhesive. It's a dotted adhesive. So if I go over the edges, it doesn't matter. It just rubs away. And I can just trim away the acetate. I didn't bother die cutting the acetate. But I actually did die cut some fun foam here. It's only a fairly thin fun foam. And I used the two oval shapes that were directly beside each other. And that's just going to give me um, a bit of a well to put the shaker elements into. I've got score tape. And I really like score tape for adding um, the windows because it adheres straight away. I don't have to wait for glue to dry but it's very sticky. It's not going to fall apart. And I try not to put it near the edge that's going to be near the shaker elements. Does that make sense? Like sort of on the outer edge of the foam and that way hopefully things don't get stuck to it. So I'm adding some, this is the Twinklets Diamond Dust and this is actually a glass so it's quite heavy. It's like really tiny little pieces of glass and I just love these in a shaker they're great and you can mix them with um, sequins or anything like that as well and it's quite a big jar that you get too I've had this jar forever and it doesn't seem to <laughs> ever get empty I did decide to use my matte medium on the outside of the foam here and that's purely because I couldn't be bothered fighting with the score tape once I'd already put I should have put the score tape on before I added the shaker elements but you know you live and learn. I've stamped out the log. This is from the same hedgehog set and I've decided to use this as my sentiment panel. So I don't, I'm coloring with some Copics but I'm not going too dark and I'm not being too fussy because a lot of it's going to be covered up with the sentiment. I'll list all the colors that I use over at my blog today and the link will be in the YouTube description below. 
I used Onyx Black for my sentiment. And then this is uh, the Ranger. Oh gosh, it's one of the pinks. And that'll be listed as well. It's the Hot Pink Dye Ink. It's really sweet. And I thought it'd be sweet to add some flowers behind and then some leaves. And I got a mark on my card up in the top left corner. <laughs> so creative license. I added some leaves coming from there as well. I'm colouring the leaves in with uh, Prismacolor pencils purely because this is directly stamped onto the front of my card and I didn't want to have to try and cover up the inside of my card or have Copic colours showing through. I often use Prismas direct on the front of the card just for that reason. And I did add a bit of pink to the flowers as well and I think this is where I added some pink to the um, hedgehog but I didn't show that in the video sorry. I'm going to pop this whole panel up as well and I'm using some scrapbook adhesives foam squares one of my favorite go-to foam adhesives and it's just going directly on the front of the card and then I can pop up my sentiment as well. It's going to be fairly clean and simple card. I like a lot of white space. And then finally I can pop up my little hedgehog like it's jumping <laughs> for joy. Okay, that's it for my card today. You can find all these products at Scrapbook Boutique and the link will be below. So that's it. you got to shake it. These twinklets are awesome. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.